Hi all, James Sennett here and today's video we're going to look at Autodesk Exchange apps and we're going to look at some of the apps that we've got for Vault. Uh, so if you haven't seen the App Store before, uh, it's, that's the Autodesk Exchange App Store. Uh, you can access it through your Vault Explorer just by clicking the little X here which actually stands for Autodesk Exchange Apps. Uh, so if you click that, that'll navigate you to the website where you can go and get access to all these apps. So today's video, we're going to look at some of my favorite ones. So looking through uh, the App Store, just a quick little overview. Um, this is the product you're running. So if you click the App Store button from AutoCAD, it'll navigate you to the AutoCAD section of the App Store. I can click Show All, which will show all the apps. And you can see there's a fairly long list of them, a couple of pages of apps in here. So thanks very much to all the people that have added apps in here. Uh, so a lot of them are excellent ones. And, uh, and I'll just have a look at a couple of the ones that I use um, quite a bit of. And I tend to use the simple ones the most, uh, just because I find them extremely useful. Uh, some of the ones that I use are, for example, add local copy, um, attachment manager, delete local copy, and so on and so forth. And we're going to have a look at all those ones. Um, now, one thing you will have to be aware of, that when you go and look at some of these apps, uh, most of them will only be uh, compatible with some versions of Vault. So in this case, the Add Local Copy is compatible with all of these versions of Vault and uh, and not Vault Standard, as you can see. So you can't use this app with Vault Standard, which is a, actually a little bit of a theme. Uh, so just be aware that um, you will need to check the compatibility with your version of Vault to make sure that your version of Vault has access to this app. Once you decide you want an uh, you want an app, you just click the little button here. You pay whatever it costs. In most cases, I'm, well, in today's case, I'm going to be talking about only uh, the free ones. But in other cases, uh, it might cost you a couple of bucks. It might cost you a couple of hundred bucks. I don't know. Um, some of them are more expensive than others. Right. So that's how that's how I install them. So once they are installed, uh, you'll notice. Well, you might not notice, but there is a there's another tool here called the Autodesk Exchange App Manager, and this guy here actually is a separate program altogether. So important to note that there will be lots and lots of apps in here if you're running multiple products. So in this case, I've only got Vault apps in here, and that means I haven't installed any apps from any other product. So every product will all be um, in here. So you just got to make sure that you're looking at the right ones. Anyway, this is actually a separate program, which is kind of kind of interesting. All right, so let's have a look at some of the apps. Jumping straight in, uh, if I look at my local workspace, uh, in my workspace, I tend to accumulate drawings and whatnot, um, which is okay. Uh, but occasionally, I want to just get rid of them because I've got a whole heap of files in there and I haven't worked on them for months or days or however long it is and you want to remove all the local copies of your files from your workspace. Uh, there's actually an app for that and you can just install it. It's called add, uh, delete local copy. And to access it, you just right click on the folder that you want to delete and choose delete local copy. This just removes it all from your local workspace. So when I look in here, in a moment, you won't even see a designs folder, nor will you see any of the subfolders. So if I right click on there, delete local copy, and come back in here and you can see Vault, no designs folder. Uh, but you might want that folder structure there because uh, you need to be able to save documents into the folder structure and you don't want to misspell something and make two folders or whatever it is. So right click on the designs folder and choose add local copy. And what that does, it actually builds the folder structure in your Vault into your local workspace. And you can see that in here. Every single folder that's in my Vault from where I right click is going to be built, which is uh, which is really cool. Um, this is uh, this is an excellent app. I really like that one. And again, nice and simple. Let's uh, let's have a little bit more of a look at something a little bit more complex. This one's a really cool one, but um, a little bit more complex. And that is uh, the app that can compare versions of your drawings or revisions of your drawings. So let's jump in and have a look at the history of this particular drawing. Now let's scroll down. There we go. That's the drawing there. 
And you can see there's a little bit of a change between version 1 and version 3. Now, if I want to know what those changes are, I can graphically um, or visually show exactly what the changes are between versions of drawings just by installing what's called the Compare Drawings app. And I can access it by right-clicking on the history and choosing Compare Drawings. Now, before I do that, I do need to select the two that I want to um, compare. And I can do that by holding Control, select on the first one and select on the second one. Compare Drawings and hit the Compare button. This will show you all the differences between the two drawings and highlight it in red. So you can see uh, everything in black was, was there in the original drawing. The things in red have been added into the um, version 3. So that's a, that's a really cool app. And it actually even highlights the areas that have been changed as well as a markup. Really cool app, that one. You can go and plot that. You can go and do whatever you want with it. Open it in Design Review, whatever you want to do. It's actually uh, comparing the DWF files. Uh, so that's... Really cool app, I like that one. Alright, moving a little bit further along, there's another one here. Um, we don't really have too much more time, but there's another one I want to talk about, which is the Folder Structure app. And you can see that by um, Create Folder Structure here. So, for example, uh, I've already had a play with this. I haven't actually used this one before. Actually, I don't like Folder Structure too much. Personally, I think metadata does a better job and you can search on it better and you don't have to think about where you put your files either. But that being said, um, if you do want to create your folder structure, you can create a standard folder structure setup. Now, uh, this can put in um, folder categories, as you can see. You can put in folder names and whatnot. One thing you can't do in here is you can't put in any um, security on the folders as a default. So the, that's the, probably the one thing that is missing at the moment. Whilst you can go and create whatever folder structure you want and add subfolders, let's go and make a subfolder in here and say, uh, well, this one's maybe uh, AutoCAD. And you can put a category on it, and that, that's based on whatever category you've got set up in your... Um, categories section. Anyway, so that you can go and create all that, but as I said, the only thing it's missing is the security side of things. But again, you should be using life cycles and whatnot, I think. But anyway, so that's, um, that's how you go and configure all that stuff, which is really cool. Once you want to insert it, so you've now got your folder structure set up, and you can see a new project. You could have several different folder structures set up in here. So, for example, if you wanted to make another folder structure in here, this one's maybe AutoCAD folder structure. And under AutoCAD, you've got maybe blocks and maybe templates and so on and so forth. So, once you've saved all that, and let's say you wanted to go and insert that AutoCAD folder structure or whatever it is. You might want to insert the AutoCAD folder structure underneath here. So you go right click and choose create folder structure. Choose the folder structure um, template that you want to use and give it a name. So let's call it um, Proj001. And let's go and accept that into Vault. You can see it's added that with the subfolders. Let's do it one more time with the other one. And you can see, yes, we'll use new project, Proj002, and add that one. And you can now see that one's been added and all its, uh, all its categories and everything have been put in as well. So as you can see, that's not a bad app, but again, I'm not a big fan of folder structure, so um, I personally don't use that. But look, some people do. Uh, and once, once you've done that, not a bad idea to add local copy. You may as well have a local copy of all those folders that you just made and uh, the add local copy does a pretty good job as you can see all right I'm gonna get rid of that uh, and one last one that we'll talk about you can right click anywhere in here or in your folder on any folder and you can see my checked out files now whatever folder you check on, you right click on you'll see my checked out files uh, and this will show you any files that you've got checked out Uh, so that's uh, that's kind of nice. It, this actually doesn't really do anything more than what just a save search would do. Um, and to be honest, I 
I don't really use this one very often either because I have a saved search under my saved folders and it does the same thing. You can export from here and you can um, whatever you can you can do lots of stuff in there, but well, you can't really do lots of stuff. It's a, it's okay. It just it's a pretty simple little app and uh, does the job. So yeah, that's not a bad one either. So there's a there's a whole heap of other ones in there. You should go and check them out. Um, as I said, it's um it's pretty nice that all these people have contributed apps and put them up for free and everything. So you should um should go and have a look at them and see which ones you want to use. I've just shown you a couple of simple ones and free ones you can use that I've found to be quite useful. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.